Okay, today I just want to look at some of the differences between the GU10 LED replacements for the halogen bulb. This standard halogen bulb that we're all sort of familiar with and tends to blow very regularly. It's a bayonet style fitting and plugs directly into the mains. Uh, this particular one has a curved lens on the front. Uh, essentially there are many different types of lead replacement. I mean this first one is one that I came across again with the curved front. Uh, looks like 21 standard 5mm LEDs all clustered together there although you can see the yellow LEDs actually behind the reflecting glass there. This particular one, about three or four pounds, only gave about 25 watts equivalent of light, uh, not particularly very good. Moving on to the more standard design, this is uh, what they call an SMD arrangement, a surface mount device. The LEDs are flat on the front of the PCB there, so uh, this might rattle around in any receptacle because it hasn't got a curved front but essentially they are the same the arrangements of the LEDs vary tremendously this is a 20 LED one and this this one here is a 21 and it's uh, much more sort of neater and nicer but essentially they're all the same this particular one was about six pounds which is sort of more realistic the price that you would pay It's quite difficult to show on video the difference in quality between the standard halogen bulb here and one of the LED replacements. This is the 21 SMD uh, 50 watt, quite bright, casts a lovely sort of pattern over the ceiling, uh, but essentially you really need to see them to uh, really judge for yourself whether you like them. Moving on to some of the things you need to consider when buying LED replacements. First of all, you really need to look for the number of lumens that the bulb claims to be equivalent to. So, for instance, this one is 340, which is around about a watt equivalent of about 50 watts. It's actually better to look for the lumens equivalent rather than the wattage equivalent, which can be quite sort of suspect, really. You may be looking for different types of colour in your LEDs. Uh, basically there's three types. Warm white is more of a sort of orangey white. There's a daylight white which is in the middle and a cool white which has obviously got a bluish hue. Costs vary tremendously. Basically upwards from about £4 to £7 and the wattage is, uh, needs to be sort of around about the 4 to 7 watts. The advantages of lead replacements are, are of course that they use about 90% less electricity but they do cost more to buy in the first place so um, you know they're going to have to run for several years before they uh, pay their way uh, but this needn't be a problem because of course you don't ever need to replace them once you've fitted them that's it uh, so just bear that in mind one other thing the beam angle uh, some of them have a close beam so they would form a sort of spotlight which would be ideal for reading that's something that you might want to consider and a, another important thing is that uh, most of them are not suitable with dimming devices so there it is um, replacement LEDs for your halogens hope that's been some use